Bye, Kevin. You'd be good, all right? Oh. He's the guy that is letting me stay in the sleeper house. He actually has a guide service out here. But yeah, once I get done talking to Jesse and get all dialed in the fish house, I will uh, turn this back on and talk to you guys. We got the bed all made. Got all the gear in here. Graph in the hole. We're only missing one thing right here. Let's grab the only rod with the plastic on it. Let's see if there's any fish down there. Looks like I'm marking instantly. I don't know if it's fish or weeds. Okay, it's fish. Got one. Feels decent. That was instant. Whoa. No way. Okay, not a big one, but that was instant, and my graph is loaded. This is all fish. I'm going to get this guy on hook. All right, that's a really good sign. I'm going to go ahead and get some cameras set up and stuff. Let's catch some fish, guys. Instantly, y'all. I'm going to switch to my little PC Fun spooler. As you can see, this one is set up with just a tiny, tiny little three millimeter jig because I think I'm mainly in the daytime here. I'm probably gonna be targeting bluegills. And then just gonna be tipping it with little wax worms. I'm really hoping later we can get some crappies and I'll probably switch to a little bit bigger jig, but I'm not a hundred percent sure if there's even crappies here. So. In the meantime, let's just crush some bluegills. Really quick too, y'all, I do want to give a huge shout out to my buddy Jesse. He actually has a guide service here in the Detroit Lakes area. That's where I'm fishing today. This guide service is called Thalman's Guide Service. I will leave all of his info down below. I'll leave like his Facebook, his Instagram if he has one, and his phone number and all that stuff. So yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video and want to come do this for yourself, you guys can come do that. All right, let's get back to fishing. Whoa, that was not, oh, okay, not a blue deal. Come here, buddy. Oh my God, you don't rip me. Little laughter. Second fish of the day. We got a tiny little pike. I can't believe it hasn't slopped out of my hands. <laughs> hey, it's not a big bluegill, but. 
It's a fish. Let's get right back down there. Let's see if I can't get one with the new tiny Z Viber. Better. No giant by any means, but he absolutely did that baby Z fiber, and I didn't even have it tipped with nothing. Thanks for the red, little buddy. What are you doing, loser? Okay, I'm definitely thinking I'm gonna have to do some weaning through these fish because my screen is pretty loaded every time I drop down. So yeah, I don't want to show just every little bluegill I catch, so just stay tuned, y'all. We will, uh, I'm getting hungry soon here, so we're gonna get to cooking uh, shortly. I think I'm just gonna rip a pizza or something today. Oh yeah. Well, it took about 20, but, hey. Probably no my nicest bluegill of the year. I'm gonna say like nine inches. I'm not gonna break out the ruler quite yet, but at least eight and a half, nine inches. When you can lip them like a bass, that's pretty cool. Graph cam engaged. Go ahead and send down the Z Viber. Hopefully you guys can kind of see that. So for those of you that don't know what this is, right? Okay, hold on. We got fish, we got fish on there. That top mark going up and down is me, for those of you that don't know what the graph cam is. And that bottom mark, maybe I'll put an arrow there, that's a fish and now it's disappearing. A lot of y'all new subscribers have been curious uh, and like don't even know how the graph cam, or like how to read the graph cam. I got one on me right now. As you can see, you can't even see you can't even see my mark. I'm gonna pull it away from him a little bit. Just kinda just kinda try to read this fish's mood. Okay, there's two down there. Oh, there's a couple down there. Oh, I missed them. No. Coming back again? Got him. Oh, finally. This feels nice. Or I'm wrapping my deucer. Yep, wrapping my deucer. Once again, that is not a bad bluegill at all. If I was keeping them, that would be perfect. All right, now that you guys kind of know how to read the graph cam, let's get right back to it and try to catch some bigger ones. Instant. This is awesome. Even though I haven't gotten a complete monster yet, this is awesome. When I say complete monster, uh, for those of you that don't know, I actually rented this exact house from Jesse last year and I ended up catching a 12 inch bluegill. Maybe I'll throw a picture up or something, but for Minnesota, a 12 inch bluegill is like absolutely insane. I'm talking like once in a lifetime fish. But yeah, once again, even though I'm kind of weaning through all these littler size fish, there's always that thought in the back of my head. Every time you rent a house from Thalen's Guide Service, you just never know you could hook into it monster freaking fish. Anyway, stay tuned y'all. I'm uh, getting a little bit hungry. I might throw in a pizza soon here. There's a pizza maker right over here. So stay tuned. I'm gonna get cooking and I'm also gonna give you guys a little tour of this house because I usually like doing that. Today I'm ripping Red Baron some cream pizza. It's a good thing I'm cooking this now because the thing is about unthawed. I only have about an hour left until it dark out unless I catch like a giant or something I'm probably not gonna turn the cameras on because I'm gonna be out here until tomorrow so uh, yeah hopefully we can get some giants and my mouth is currently watering because I can already smell that pizza Ooh, pizza's done a little burnt kind of forgot about it not a big deal I am about to crush and I'm working I had to take the graph cam off too, by the way, y'all. I got it here now, because uh, my phone has to stay plugged in, but I did catch one really quick. Oh my God, no way. Oh my God, I suck at fishing. Well, I don't know, y'all. I'm gonna crush this pizza. 
it's still, I'm about to catch another, or miss another one. Got him. It's like one after another. This one feels decent. It's like, they're not tiny, tiny. It's like they're at least fun to catch, you know? Like this right here. Huh. I'll catch these all day long and eat my pizza. Come on. <laughs> Whoa, what do we got? Pike. Bastard almost stole my bobber. I got a bobber down by the way, y'all. It is just about dark out. Got stuff a little bit clean. And I was just about to turn on the TV because Jesse happens to have Netflix out here. Anyway, stay tuned. I need my phone to connect to the Wi-Fi. Talk to you guys in a bit. Welcome back, y'all. As you can see, I am in my cot and I am dumping footage. Unfortunately, I could not get the TV to connect to my phone. We are just a little bit too far in the sticks. But anyways, it is dark out now. Actually, it's like 7.50, it's almost eight o'clock already. Pretty much completely stopped marking like as soon as it got dark out. So I covered up that hole and grabbed my laptop and started dumping footage and I think I'm just going to kind of catch up on some editing. But anyways, well, while this is dumping, I totally forgot I was going to give you guys a little tour of this sick little house. So let's do that real quick. As you can see right here, this is where I was just chilling. This is my bed cot slash editing station for the night. Here's the hole I was jigging out of. I have another hole here with my bobber rod set up. They have more holes right here, right here, and right here, but I have them covered up for now. Right when you come in the front door here, you go to the right, and this fish house actually has its own bathroom. This is, uh, I think only the second fish house I've stayed in this year with a bathroom. That's definitely a huge plus about staying in Jesse's fish houses. We got the heater right here. This thing seems to kick on every single time I turn on my camera. Right here we got the kitchen. You guys probably seen this earlier. Here's the pizza maker. I checked the pizza on, but it does have uh, two stoves too. It's got a microwave, fan, and light. Right up there's the TV. We've got a big bunk here that folds down. We've got another bunk here that folds down. There's a bunk above my bunk that folds down. More storage up here. Bunch of storage under here. And I think that's pretty much it. But anyways, y'all, it's probably gonna be pretty quiet here tonight. I'm going to edit a video for you guys to watch and yeah, hopefully something cool happens. This is gonna suck. Yes, yes, yes. Thank you so much, and I will count on you for that one. And please, uh, do you have anything else there that we can assist you with while we have you on the line? Yeah, you think you could like send your Snapchat too? Please don't break my heart. Like what my ex boyfriend did, okay? Oh my God, I will not at all. <laughs> Little update, y'all. I uh, sweet talk to the T-Mobile lady, and now my hotspot's working, and I'm watching. Oh. There goes the heater. I'm watching. That's my boy. So you can pretty much say this night's going pretty awesome. Anyways, y'all, it is 1040 now. I have not gotten a single bite 
So, yeah. I'm probably just going to kick it, watch this movie, and probably get to bed soon here. So, stay tuned. Talk to you guys in a bit. Good morning, y'all. Current time check is 8 o'clock. Totally fell asleep last night watching Netflix. Didn't remember to talk to y'all, but anyways. I have to get up and go fill the generator. Tell you what, definitely not as cold as last night my barber's got the heck? Oh? 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 Pike or what? Yep. Oh, 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 oh. Little pike. Ha 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 ha, Trump's not rocket. Yum, 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 yum. That looks crazy. Wow. All right, first fish in the morning. Just woke up, about to warm up a little bit, and see if I can't catch some bluegills in bed or something. Knife. Not a bluegill, I don't think. Nope, not a bluegill. Oh my god. A lot of hammer handles. This one feels big. Whoa. This one nice or what? Alright. I'm going to hike this one for a little bit. I gotta be really careful. I only have three pound fluorocarbon on here. So, I'm just gonna let them play, play it out. God, still. I think he's getting close. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my god! Huge bass! Oh my god! <laughs> That's like a freaking five pound bass almost! Ah! Four pounds! That's a freaking stud! I'm not even kidding. I'm pretty sure this is like the biggest bass I've ever gotten through the ice. Like, no cap. And I'm pretty sure this might be my first largemouth bass I've gotten this year. I've gotten smallmouth, but not largemouth. Well, let's get a graceful release on that giant. <laughs> I was wondering, I was like, no way this fish hasn't broken me off yet. That's why. Bass don't have teeth. I really hope you guys enjoyed today's video, but unfortunately, I think we have to wrap it up here. I'm actually about to... I'm gonna cook some breakfast really quick off camera and then uh, I think I'm gonna take off here. One more time, I wanna give the biggest shout out to Jesse Thalman for allowing me to come and stay and make this awesome video in this fish house. Just like I said in the beginning of this video, all of his info is gonna be linked down below in my description. So if any of you guys wanna come fish in this exact fish house or I'm pretty sure Jesse has some bigger fish houses even. One more time, really hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you could, give it a share. Uh, subscribe if you're not already. Go check out some new Fish and More merch. That's it, y'all. Peace.